often than not, we get to come into work and feel like you are contributing beauty to the world. Most of the products and goods and services that you get in this world today are not handmade in the way that everything here is. And I don't even mean just the wood components. I mean, on a project like this, it's all made just for this. The process itself really determined the product in the end. So in addition to the end result or the product being authentic or not authentic, it's the process itself that you can talk about being authentic. In design for restoration, there's some critical stuff that you have to do right at the beginning to set yourself up in good stead for the remainder of the project. There's a huge amount of talent here. If there's ever anything that you don't know how to do, somebody does. And my experience has been that if you ask, they'll take time out of whatever it is they are doing to show you how to do it right. Because in the end, when you're gonna produce something like this, everybody wants all the parts and all the components to be done to a really high level, whether it's a piece that they did or one, that one of their colleagues did. Every boat we do, we talk about raising our standard. The last big boat we finished was exquisite, was beautifully done, and all the same guys that were working on that boat are on this boat. This is our finest work. So that we end up in the end with a, with a Fife yacht with, without mistake. I spent a week at the beginning of this project in England going through the archive and really making sure that we were getting all the details right. You know, a big fife like this is special kind of experience. This boat really is, I think, for a lot of us. I think that's another thing that as the project goes away, I'll look back on it and be like, wow, that was a you know, big fife. Well, we have a great boss. You know, he maybe comes around the boat now and again and he'll ask, hey. why are you doing it this way or what's, what's going on here? He wants to be informed, but he also doesn't want to uh, get in the way. There is a, an extraordinary level of confidence that he has in you, in all of us, in what we do here, um, which is infectious, I think, you know, when you're working for people like that who expect the best work that you can provide, but also, to an unprecedented degree, I think, stand back and let you do it. Um, it makes you want to produce fantastic work for somebody like that. But this is also a job. I mean, these are very expensive projects and we need to be able to do the work to a high level and try to get the project done for the owner as efficiently as we can so that they at least feel like they're really getting a you know, a good solid day's work from the people who work here. My ultimate goal in all of this is for the owners to feel they really enjoyed the process, they feel like they were treated fairly, that they got a better product than they had hoped they might in the beginning. That's very important to me, and I think to pretty much everybody that works here as well. I don't know how many jobs there are in the world where you can stand back with 15, 20 other guys and literally look at 70,000 hours of labor. Like, there it is. That's pretty amazing. Two.